I'm Keely Yor here with junior forward Isaiah Mobley. Isaiah, first off, congratulations are in order. You received first team Pac-12 honors. How does it feel? Um, it's great. Um, it's a wonderful accolade. Um, I'm excited. Um, I just thank my teammates, my coaches, um, and everyone around me for uh, helping me get to that position. You were named alongside Drew Peterson. It seems like he's kind of come into his own this season. What have you seen from him? Uh, tremendous growth. Um, Drew's uh, been a great player. He's with us last year on our run. Um, and this year, um, like you said, he come into his own. Um, he's had some great games this season and uh, I can't wait to see what's in store for him ahead too. You made the decision to come back this year. What have you learned in this season? Um, just the ups and the downs, even though uh, it's been a historic season, like it has been easy. Um, but like, even for me, with my face being uh, broken for a minute and all that stuff. But um, yeah, just uh, a different form of leadership, um, both by example on the court and off the court and just trying to help the young guys, the new guys, um, and just so we can make a run in and be in a good position for March. What do you think has contributed to the team's success this season? Um, just uh, everyone stepping up. Um, we've had the next man up mentality, um, different games, different nights. People have been stepping up. People like you said, like Drew, Max, Boogie, Ethan, uh, Reese, Kobe, all the way down the line, Chavez, all have had great games in the, in the bench. And even the guys who don't play as much, Harry, um, Bubakar, Josh, they all like help us. And I think we all help each other and it should have been just more of a team and group effort all throughout this year. You ended the regular season on two losses. What didn't go your way as far as those games? Uh, just the little things, um, details, you know, um, they're very important, especially as we get later into the season playing these better teams. So um, I think they're good lessons for us going into the postseason. In his postgame press conference after the UCLA loss, Enfield, Coach Enfield said that, you know, it's a, it's a different season in the postseason. It's almost like starting a new season. Does it feel like that as a player that you're kind of in a new mindset in the postseason? Yes, because um, it's just about win or go home. Um, and so there's a lot on the line. Uh, the pressure builds, but it's that's what college basketball is about. It's all about the fun, the memories. Um, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Um, but uh, you just got to keep your head down and just keep going. And um, yeah, going into like the quote unquote new season, um, we just have to have a chip on our shoulder and, and, and just keep um, one foot in front of the other and hopefully we can come out successful. This time the, there will be fans in the stands. What will that do for the team and the, the energy that it could provide? It could do a whole lot for us, um, but whether it's our fans or the other team's fans, um, it just brings energy into the arena. Um, that kind of wasn't there as much last year. And so um, it should be excited. I'm, I can't wait to see what it's like and experience that. Um, like not too many people get to experience college basketball at all, but especially into the postseason um, at the level that we're playing at. And so I'm extremely grateful and blessed to, to be there. What's the team's mindset heading into Vegas in the Pac-12 tournament? Just win. However, we have to do it ugly by a lot, by a little. Um, just win, try to try to get a Pac-12 championship um, and bring it home to us uh, heading into March Madness. If it goes your way, that means you'll have to beat UCLA and Arizona. What gives you confidence that you can do it this time around? Um, just learning from our mistakes last time. Um, we've had a close, a close games with both of them. And so um, if we can just capitalize on the little things that we did in those past those games that we dropped, um, I think that we can uh, get over the hump and be successful. Turnovers have been an issue as of late. How do you fix that heading into the tournament? Uh, just being smart. We can't play, you can't, I don't, I don't like to say we can play safe, um, but because you got to roll the dice, especially in this time of the year. But just, just being smart um, and trusting your instincts, don't second guess yourself. And I think um, we do that and we clean some of that stuff up, then we can be successful. This is probably your last postseason for USC. What, what are you hoping to get out of this time? Um, just, just winning. Um, yeah, like all the stats and all the, the awards and stuff, they go out the door, out the door at this point. Um, I just want to just win as much as we can and go as far as we can um, because, uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. And so, yeah, I'm not concerned about anything like about me. It's just uh, about the team, what I can do to help them win and, and, and maybe hopefully write our name in history one more time. All right. Well, thanks for the time and good luck in Vegas. Thank you.